Well, I could quit. Yeah, wow. And it jumped me straight to the stream manager. Uh, is it not supposed to? I just didn't expect it. All right, I think we're live. I'm gonna go. No, we're dead. Sorry. I hope nobody minds. <laughs> Welcome to Twitch's first stream from beyond the grave. It's like I usually say, you know, welcome to another week unless you're all dead, in which case, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. Now I'm just dreaming to the afterlife, it's fine. Pardon me one second, I'm having technical issues on my other phone. Also, apparently it ignored all my edits to your go live info. <laughs> Twitch. Yeah, Twitch. It, it, Why do you even have a mobile UI? I know, right? It's so jank. And I, I, I swear, I had to type in that go live message twice because the UI was broken and it still just ignored me. <sighs> it, it just told everyone you're streaming Dawn Trail. What? It, the go live message says you're playing Dawn Trail. This is definitely not Dawn Trail. Um, I mean, it's a summer vacation, it's just not Dawn Trail. Can I just double check? The stream info, okay, it's just the go live notification that was wrong. Everything else saved. Okay. Weird. And now it won't let me hit the done button because I didn't change anything. I have to hit the back <laughs> button because because I might be confused, I guess. Uh, someone's confused. I don't think it's you. I mean, it might be everyone, but... Yeah, I think it's you. Brother, we have... A dessert on the way, and the driver screwed something up. No, oh, no. And I'm trying to text the driver too. Bad driver, no missing. I'm kidding. I will text the driver. Oh yeah. They're owning up to their mistake and taking responsibility. So. if this is uh, horrifying to anybody, but for my own curiosity, I want to see how loud it is if I run the okay. chats on the stream for a second. Wait, tell you what, in that case, let me set down the, the phone. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, it might vibrate through the surface. Maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> I assume it was going to be horrifying. I want to hear it is the thing. Okay. Oh, let me put in headphones. There you go. Put my headphones. Oh no, not this again. I almost lost one of his AirPods on the plane that we got here yesterday. I don't know which story are we telling now. <laughs> Just the one where you almost lost an AirPod on the way in. Oh, yeah, they freaking slipped out of my hand trying to free them from the seat back pocket in front of me. This is why I insist on traveling with nothing in my actual hands. <clears throat> I mean, it, it, I don't carry them in my hands normally, but I had to transfer them back and forth. <laughs> No, the real thing you should be telling is the story of how I couldn't find my keys when we went to leave. That was also fun. Which, by the way, I found them last night. What? You'll never guess where they were. In your pocket where they're supposed to be? No. Okay. They were in the bag with my CPAP machine. <sighs> how they got in there, I don't know. Clearly you were tired and in need of this vacation. Clearly. So they are here now with us, for the record. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, I also have a house key, so we just use mine. Everything is cool. Please don't try to rob the house. It is locked. But we inevitably dox ourselves and you get access to our address. <laughs> yes. Can I really not? Oh, there it is. I'll turn up the music a little. There we go. That's better. Okay, now you want to run the jets, I'm monitoring. And since I'm hearing it right now, uh, do be warned, folks, there are a lot of sirens going around tonight. It is definitely um, Friday on the weekend in a major city, so do not be surprised if you hear random sirens. There is nothing I can do about it. I apologize. It is what it is. All right, my train is on now. Go for it. Okay. Alright, 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 yeah, 
Yes, yes it is, but I'm turning it off for the sake of anyone with a headset. Oh. Uh, I wanted to hear if uh, we could hear each other over it. Oh. Well, I gotta turn it back on then? Try it. Okay, it is back on. How does it sound when we're trying to talk over it? Okay. Testing, testing. Okay, testing, testing. Testing, okay. What are we testing? Uh, if I can hear us. What? <laughs> Turn it off. What? <laughs> I can hear us better through the stream than I can in person. Okay, perfect. It is sorely tempting, but like I can't hear questions being asked, so I guess I'll leave it off for the purpose of the stream. Yeah, it is very audible. It's drowning out the music. You can actually hear us over it pretty good. <laughs> okay. Not what I expected. No, me neither. All right. Well, this tub is so nice, by the way. As I mentioned on Discord, this tub is uh, apparently extremely nice. Other types of this tub can have all sorts of crazy attachments added to it, like waterfall spouts and what they're calling chromotherapy, which is like a whole lighting system. You can basically Philips Hue your entire bathtub. Uh, it comes with a bunch of different finishes. You can customize jets. It's ridiculous. Damn. This particular one does not have most of those features, but it has enough to where it's really, really nice. Honestly, there's enough room in here that if uh, Soggy wasn't being a uh, absolute champ and uh, running the stream from outside the tub, both of us could fit in this one. So. Yeah, that's a rare feature. Really, this is the deepest tub I've ever seen. It's insane. I will definitely take pictures so I can make ridiculous thumbnails when we get home, but... Oh yeah, definitely do. This is the... I, I titled this as the fanciest jank uh, tub stream <laughs> because of how fancy this tub is. Perfect. Okay. This is... Wow. This one only has a few jets, but they are exactly where my back needs the most, so I'm very appreciative right now. Especially after the plane yesterday. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think things are at least momentarily squared away with our driver, and the stream seems to be working. Okay. You ready to start the quizzes? Let's do it. What the heck? Uh, there were a couple of quizzes I had saved on my phone, but otherwise I told Soggy to load up whatever he wanted, so we will see what happens. And you guys will notice we are free from ads this time. We finally did something about that, yes. so that'll make things a lot nicer. Get rid of this. <laughs> okay. Don't forget, do we usually turn these horizontal? I think we do. Uh, I don't remember. Probably. Well, should we start with one of the ones you wanted to do, and then we sure. can work our way up? Do you have a preference between Welcome to the Masquerade in the Deep Woods and What Color Lightsaber Do You Wield? Oh, I think we should start with the lightsaber, if only because I have technically taken that before. Mm -hmm. I mostly was saving it to uh, let you do it, and I want to see if my uh, results come out the same as they did last time. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, this is the one we were most disappointed not to get to do last tub stream, so... Yes. <clears throat> it is a, a bit on the long side, as I recall, so... Oh, really? Be okay. What color lightsaber would you wield? Every lightsaber is powered by a kyber crystal. These rare crystals go by many names, such as a kyber, a lightsaber crystal, a kyber crystal, or the living crystal. Okay. Also, there's like 200 other crystals that other writers have made up for the Star Wars universe, but let's not go there. <clears throat> they are understood to be living organisms that start out clear, but change color depending on the force user to claim them. What color would a kyber crystal change to if you were the one to use it? Rainbow, baby. All the way. Is that an option on here? I don't know. Okay. I forgot. I took this ages ago. Fair enough. Look, I, pl I played the MMO. I've played enough, like, fan games. I've seen every color imaginable at this point. Uh, should I take this first, since you've taken it before? Yeah, do it. All right. Then. I'm curious. Sucky so. But All I'm saying is my answer... Oh, no. Uh -oh. My answer, the words that seemed appropriate, but I am not happy with the color, so. Okay. Interesting. I just realized I forgot to check whether it doxed you there or not. No. Also, what I was actually saying oh no to is that you have the same weirdly specific keyboard problem that I do. Oh? My keyboard has learned RAFs. RAF with an apostrophe S or RAFALS with an apostrophe S on the end but not Raph or Raphael without the apostrophe S. So whenever I go to type your name on my phone, I have to correct it. 
And your phone did the same thing. I typed in soggy so and it was like, you mean soggies, right? Oh, As in belonging to soggy. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, no, I mean soggy, the person. Or fictional entity, at least. All right, well, I'll double check on the next quiz whether it's doxing you or not. I don't, okay. don't think I saw it do it, which I hope so. If it is, we'll just edit it out later. Yep, as always. Wow. Question one of 35. At least they're relatively fast from what I remember. Okay. So they're not deep questions. That's good. What is your favorite color? Wait, is this Monty Python? Uh, yellow, purple, green, red, black, blue, white. Does well, your father smell like elderberries? Uh, we all know on this uh, channel that I am, as uh, Saints put it, green-coated, so yes. uh, I live up to that. I'm going with green. Pick the word that describes your most common mental state. Mad, conflicted, I don't know, curious, determined, or relieved? Ooh, I'm going to go with conflicted from that list. Okay. What is your main motivation in life? Helping others? Power! Knowledge? Making the world a better place, responsibility, I don't know, or finding myself. Okay. It's actually like a great helping others and making the world a better place in the two categories. Yeah. That's I an guess interesting it's more distinction. Like, do you want to help people more directly or do you just want to make the world a better place? Yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna go with helping others, I think. I'm there are other things on this list that are very important to me, and other things on this list that I am working on doing more in my life. But frequently my main motivation is helping others, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay. What kind of job interests you the most? Running a family business? A student? I don't know. A monk? A soldier? A CEO? Or a philanthropist? Wow, such choices. Yeah, I was gonna say, that. Um, I feel like there's a lot of other options besides those. Well, it's not... CEO. Did they have Catboy Streamer in there? No. Well. Unless you count that as a family business. Mm, kind of. Or a philanthropist, I guess. Definitely philanthropy. Also, so a student is a job on this list. The student's a full-time job. I mean, true, true. I'm not arguing that it's not a ton of work. Hmm. I just think most people think of it as, like, not a job in particular. Because you don't usually get paid to be a student. Yeah, you usually have to pay to be a student. Imagine if we didn't, though. Yeah. That would be interesting. I'm actually going to go with student, because, like, I love learning, and learning things is fascinating. I don't really want to be a CEO or a soldier. I've often wondered if I would make a good monk, but obviously that's not a road I've gone in my life. Philanthropist obviously has some appeal to it, but Do it's... Do you like positions? <laughs> <laughs> Depends, what kind of positionals are we talking about? Uh, mostly the flank and the rear. <laughs> oh my. For those who don't get it, we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV. Are we? <laughs> anyway. As it happens, I do like positionals. Okay. I've often felt I would like Monk, especially with the changes they just made to it. If, I didn't, if Monk wasn't so low on my character, I almost picked Monk as my job for Dawn Trail. Oh, wow. So, Because I'm very curious about the new Monk. The new, new Monk. The new, new, new Monk. Look, Monk's finally in a good place after like a decade. It took him a while. <clears throat> oh, and I was going to say, I almost picked Philanthropist, but one of my hangups with Philanthropist is that so many Philanthropists first had to be scumbag CEOs and then just became philanthropists to try and save their names or their souls, and I'm not okay with the implication. Fair. How would you describe your life at home? It's complicated, I don't know, improving good or bad. I mean, like, my life at home, as far as, like, the two of us goes, I feel like is good. My life at home, as far as, like, peace with myself, but that's not my life at home, that's, like, my internal life, you know? Yeah. I'm gonna go with good. This is not the place to find out that it was anything else, so I'm glad to hear it. I mean, I could also make a strong argument that it's improving, but I don't like the implication it wasn't already yeah, good. Fair. I just like the trajectory it's on. It can go from good to, to even gooder. Yeah. 
Would you rather side with the, an empire, some hypothetical empire, we're not going to specify one, or a rebellion, this some is a rebellion? Star Wars quiz. <laughs> Just saying. We're in a Star Wars quiz. It's it's themed after the credit scroll, and you're like, oh, we don't want it to be specific about which empire and rebel. Come on. Um, I will always pick a rebellion over an empire. That's I mean, an I feel easy like they've one. both always been placeholders for you know the wider concepts of those two words anyway. Mm -hmm. But still. that's true. Which Star Wars film was your favorite? Oh, now we're getting very specific. One, two, three, four, five, six. We didn't talk about the sequels. Maybe it's an older quiz. Or they just didn't include them. And those fight words for a lot of people. Yeah. I have a favorite. Cops are here if they don't like your answer. Yeah, I don't know. when I was listening to the stream, I couldn't hear the uh, sirens, unfortunately, okay. or maybe fortunately. Was that for everybody else? Yeah, there's been so many sirens, and so many different kinds of sirens. I live adjacent to a big city, so you'd think I'd be used to this, but. Mm hmm. And you used to live near uh, the main drag in the town where you grew up. Mm hmm. Not the fun kind of drag either. No. Either of them. Though some people do drag race down that road, I swear. Mm -hmm. um, so the first six Star Wars movies, which is my favorite? So this is where I have to admit I've never actually seen episode three. Um, huh. That's actually kind of funny. Of the prequel and sequel trilogies, I haven't seen the third one of either of them, but I've seen the other two. This is also where I probably should tell my weird story about how I watched the first original trilogy backwards. I watched Return of the Jedi, then Empire Strikes Back, then A New Hope. How did that come about? Uh, weirdly enough, a church retreat. <laughs> that does not jive with the church I'm familiar with you attending at any point. Look, we had a youth pastor who was really cool and really into Star Wars, and okay. there was this, like overnight thing that they were doing I think it was the like everyone was fasting or something and like anyway it's a whole thing um but he, that's also fucked up but okay that's a separate conversation <laughs> but yes there's a whole conversation to have around that but he was he was playing movies on the big screen at the church and he put on Return of the Jedi and then when he found out that I hadn't seen the others, he was going to play the others, but he, I guess, didn't have A New Hope, so he put on The Empire Strikes Back. Okay. And then later, I saw A New Hope, finally. <laughs> like, we bought a copy of it, and I watched it at home, so I could actually say I'd seen Star Wars. I'm surprised your parents allowed that. Yeah. If you watched it in youth group or whatever, it's probably fine. Yeah. Really? My parents weird, never did the, like, Star Wars is witchcraft or evil kind okay. of thing. To their credit. As far as I know, they also took me at face value about Pokemon not being evil. Goodness. They never really got on the Harry Potter thing, I think mostly because they were already fans of Harry Potter before that hue and cry started. Yeah, or at least because you kids were. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, look. I was definitely in the car for some of those. That's nice to your commentaries. Oh god. So. <laughs> or like having to have everything explained because yes. they like, they don't really grok fantasy. Very, yes. It's kind of cute and also deeply embarrassing to be present for. Yeah. I know you have strong feelings about my parents is not understanding the concept of wanting to be someone other than who you are. Yeah, that can be smart. <clears throat> and yes, here's the thing. My parent, well, my mom at least, liked Harry Potter, but I don't think she retained much from Harry yeah. Potter. But listen, my mom was in favor of anything that got kids reading. Yeah. And, and to be fair, two of her kids will read mo like stuff for fun, like you know, without being prompted. But my mother just really believes in children reading, so she never got behind Harry Potter being witchcraft. That I'm fine with. <clears throat> her, her, in, in that conflict of morals, she came out on the good side. Thank goodness. I mean, you know, barring everything J.K. Rowling has become, yeah. no one knew that at the time. Um, this has gotten wildly off topic. I forgot what we were talking about. Were we doing something about, wait, no, which movie was your favorite? Oh, right. I was trying to explain that the main thing that was that my parents really saw, uh, saw a tabletop role playing is the devil. Although, 
Like, honestly, a lot of that, I th in hindsight, I think was kind of just in the water. Like, they never came out to me and said, like, you better not play D&D &D or anything. Most of us, I think they ever occurred to them that I might want to. But yeah, you were a good boy. <clears throat> I was a good boy. Anyway. I'm now looking at you. Yeah, what happened to me? <laughs> <clears throat> sorry. Should I put the mic closer? If you like. There. I'm sorry, I'm done with the evil laughter. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, considering uh, my lack of success with D&D games for the most part, maybe I haven't, haven't uh, broken that yet. Um, so anyway, Star Wars movies. What's my favorite? I've been, I've been dodging this question with silly rambling. Um... I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna go with one of the prequel films. That's, it's not even like an, oh, the originals were better because I grew up with them thing. It's just, I don't know. I Honestly, in my friend group, I liked episode one more than all the others, but it didn't like leave a huge impression on me. And I genuinely have forgotten a lot of what happens in episode two. And I never watched episode three because by that point I was dating someone who didn't like Star Wars and had very strong opinions about them fridging Amidala. <laughs> And, I mean, fair. It's not like I, like, strongly, violently dislike it. I just don't care. <clears throat> Quite. Which is fine. Especially with something as big and loud a fan base as Star Wars. So it's going to be one of the original trilogy. Um, the Empire Strikes Back is one of those movies I like more as an adult than I did as a kid. Return of the Jedi is a movie I liked more as a kid than I have as an adult, weirdly enough. I'm actually going to go with A New Hope, and, and this is for kind of an odd reason, maybe. The thing that made me a true, like, I love this franchise and I'm going to go read, like, tie-in novels and learn all kinds of things about this universe and whatnot, was reading a stolen copy of the original novel for Episode Four. Uh, well, I mean, not stolen, exactly. I'm pretty sure I returned it to my uncle eventually. But I borrowed, possibly without permission, from my uncle's extensive library. He had the novel of Episode 4. And the thing you need to understand is that the novel of Episode 4 was actually written by George Lucas and includes a bunch of stuff that he couldn't put in the movie for practical reasons. Oh, wow. And there's so much, like, world-building that really hooked me. And, like, that's what got me into that for a while, was honestly, more than anything in the movies, the shit from episode four of the novel that didn't make it into the movies. I was like, oh, this is cool. Interesting. <laughs> what if that would change my opinion, I think? I don't know. I gotta be honest, all of them, when I think about them, I'm like, that's still not the kind of sci-fi that Amy likes. <laughs> oh, sorry, that Raph likes, though. Uh, I All right, I'll make a note. You sure? I can edit it out. No. Someone else did it like a week or two ago. I don't care. My first yeah. name is not a big deal. Okay. If we're talking my last name, I probably would prefer not to, but... Uh, yeah, that's fair. Because your last name is extremely unique, being 64 <laughs> letters long. It's basically complete. You can Google you just by your last name because none of your siblings or parents or grandparents have the same last name. <laughs> kidding, kidding. <clears throat> I don't know what it is with the like rash of people accidentally saying your name on air for the last month, though. Like we've gone two years without anyone uh, doing that, and now it's happened several times. To be fair, it's uh, the person that's known me the longest IRL, and you who've known me, you know, since I was a kid. So. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's fine. Which sequel or spin-off is your favorite? Star Wars: The Clone Wars, Solo: A Star Wars Story. Oh, excuse me. So. So they're, ca they're not counting the sequels as part of the series proper. It's its own question. Uh, I see. <clears throat> I guess because they weren't directed by Lucas or something? They there's some opinions in this quiz, clearly. <clears throat> Which sequel spin your favorite? Star Wars The Clone Wars, Solo A Star Wars Story, Rogue One A Star Wars Story, Episode 7 The Force Awakens, Episode 8 The Last Jedi, or I already like Episode 9 the most. I assume this came out before Episode 9. Um, I have not seen episode 9, but man, I have heard a lot about episode 9. <laughs> okay. I don't think I would like it. 
but I don't know. Then again, I'm someone who, this might be my answer, really liked The Last Jedi. I picked up what they were putting down and all the stuff that people got mad about and complained about, I was like, what are you talking about? Those were the good parts. Like, I like the things about The Last Jedi that most people don't, apparently. Like, that shot that they had to start warning people about because people thought the theater had broken and that later they edited so that people would stop complaining about it, that was brilliant. That was that was a fantastic shot the way it was, and I'm glad I got to see the original. You didn't hear about this? No. There's a shot where they actually make the sound stop for dramatic effect. And maybe oh because God. there's no sound in space, but you know, Star Wars has never been very consistent about that. But it's great. It's such a like it lends it's like Sweet Coden 2. We've talked about Sweet Coden oh, 2 yeah. and some music before on this stream. It, the silence is so much more impactful than any amount of explosion or noise yeah. would be. Especially because it is a moment of feeling like loss is the primary emotion mm -hmm. they want you to feel. And so taking everything away from you in that moment is good cinematography in my opinion. Like, I don't know how to tell you this, but if you've been through anything trauma uh, truly traumatic in your life, like that moment of shock, mm -hmm. I guarantee you, you're not hearing shit mm -hmm. in that moment. So it's very realistic. And so, but apparently so many people were convinced there was a problem with the theater because it went silent briefly, then complained to theaters that they had to start putting out warnings. Oh my God. Like, hey, like two hours or whatever into this movie, there is one shot with no noise, that's on purpose. And I believe that when they later like re-released it or did the home theater release, home video release or something, they edited sound into that scene so people would like not be too surprised by the silence. Oh my god, people, please. Let alone the like implications that everyone's so shocked by silence that they're like they can't cope. That is some you wanna talk about nightfall while we're talking wow. about sci-fi? <laughs> I would love to talk about nightfall, but that's a stream for itself. Okay. Yeah, fair. Anyway, between that and the stuff that I feel like thematically they were saying in The Last Jedi, which, you remember how I like Pandaria in part because I feel like Blizz was trying to send a message to their toxic fan base about mm -hmm. the problems of being a toxic fan base that no one picked up on? And they just tripled down harder. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like The Last Jedi is the same thing for Star Wars. It was basically someone trying to send a message to a toxic fan base about the problems with their behavior and no one picked up on it, and then the uh, people in charge just tripled down harder. Ugh. So... For that reason, I might pick The Last Jedi. I was actually originally going to save The Clone Wars because The Clone Wars is brilliant and fantastic, especially depending depending whether we're talking about the Tartakovsky uh, show or the like longer running show that came after it. But both of them are great. Um, either one is worthy of being a pick. But now I'm kind of fired up about The Last Jedi and no one liking it, and I might pick that. Uh, I saw Solo and Rogue One. I've seen more spinoffs of Star Wars than Star Wars, I think. You did better than me in this category, so. Rogue One was good too. I liked Rogue One. I thought some of the stuff was un maybe a bit unnecessary, and the, the hard sci-fi nerd in me, you know, railed at some of the physics. But look, a Star Wars movie with no like Jedi shit in it, great idea, and it was you know pretty moving. I thought. Um. Okay, as much as I want to pick the Clone Wars, what was the question again? F uh, favorite sequel or spinoff? I didn't actually see most of the Clone Wars. I just really love what I've seen, and I love it by reputation. I've actually seen The Last Jedi. I'm gonna go with The Last Jedi, actually. Okay. Which Force user is your favorite? Mace Windu, Asuka Tano, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Yoda, or Obi-Wan? I'm so torn on this one. Ooh. Hmm, uh, can I guess which you are torn on? It's really between two. Yeah, I figured. Though there are plenty of characters that I feel like I would like and I just don't know that well because I have seen very little Star Wars. Yeah, that's fair. Is it Asuka and Obi-Wan? Yep. Yep, figured. Right one. <laughs> well, let me tell you, I know more about the rest of these characters and I still think you'd be torn between Asuka and Obi-Wan. Okay. And I, I'm in a similar boat with you. I'm like, I'm right there with you. <sighs> Here's the thing. Again, like I said, I didn't watch Clone Wars. At least not a lot of it. So I didn't get to see most of Asuka's like, best moments. I also didn't watch Rebels. But I've heard wonderful things about it. I just I didn't have time in my life by the time it came out. Um, 
So I've missed most of the good Asuka stuff. I just know her by reputation, and she sounds fan fucking tastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a little bit of Clone Wars. Whereas, like, there's a thing about Obi Wan that I didn't appreciate until like a couple years ago when I listened to a podcast about Star Wars from two guys who don't like Star Wars anymore. Okay. Uh, which is, Obi-Wan is one of the only characters we get to really see in multiple stages of his life, mm-hmm. really developing and, like, growing as a person. And, like, a lot of people are kind of a bit static in Star Wars, outside of, like, big plot necessary changes to the status quo. And I've come to really appreciate Obi-Wan as, like, you know, starting off as Mr. No Fun Student and like slowly turning into extremely put upon teacher and then becoming like wise old sage. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Obi-Wan actually. Okay. Dark side or light side? Classic. Um, I mean, light side. I know it's, I know it's the basic answer, but light side. What best describes your moral compass? I do what is best for me. As long as I'm okay, I will help others to the best of my ability. I do what society expects of me. My priorities are inconsistent, but I normally decide to do what's right. I do what's right in the end. I don't have a moral compass. Or I often help others at the expense of myself. one of those things I'm kind of working on, so I'm not quite sure how to answer it. Mm. I mean, I do often help others at the expense of myself, but I'm, as I've said on the stream before, I'm working on moving towards something more like, as long as I'm okay, I will help others to the best of my ability. Versus, I do have a tendency to go with the I do what society expects of me. I we've talked about that before on the stream before, too. We already talked about my parents once in this quiz. Um, I guess I'm going to go with my priorities are inconsistent, but I normally decide to do what's right. Because that's what it feels like right now. I feel a bit scattershot. That sound right to you? Yeah, well, I'm taking the quiz. Don't look at me. Good point. I do think it sounds like you, but... I'm gonna go with that answer. How far are you willing to go for this lightsaber? Uh, it depends. I'd be willing to, like, rent one or something. <laughs> I would risk death for a lightsaber. I'm prepared to suffer. I think I can take it. I'll do whatever I want to do, and I will get still get a lightsaber. Or I'll do what's required. Okay. Our stuff's been picked up after our little career screw up. That took a hot minute. Yeah, that's part of what he. Well, to be fair, I think the restaurant was just taking a long time, but I see. he had. Anyway, not important. Um, I will do what is required, no more, no less. Um, I'll do whatever I want to do, and I will still get a lightsaber. Is <laughs> hell of an attitude. That's definitely dark side. I really wanted a lightsaber as a kid, but now I'm like, I don't know, it doesn't feel that important anymore. Yeah. I'm willing to rent one or something. <laughs> I know, JK Rowling, blah, 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 but I still kind of want one of those customized wands. I hear that. I'm sorry if this makes you unfollow me, but do what you feel is right, but I'm just going to say it. I mean, they're really- I have no friend to the stuff she talks about and the stuff she is, you know, on about now, but I am not ready to throw the baby out with that. Mm-hmm. They're really cool. Uh, it can be really metaphorical, but that's another discussion. Yes. Uh, you're surrounded by a tribe of Tuscan Raiders. Do you try to communicate with them? Fight your way out? Kill them. All of them. Attempt to trick them? Accept death for you have struggled enough? Gain their favor, or do whatever comes to me in the moment. Um, try to communicate with them? Yeah, I'll try to communicate with them. Which would you prefer? Endor, Dagobah, Hoth, Tatooine, Bespin, the Death Star, or Naboo? Oh, Endor, absolutely. Give me those, like, endless Green-coded. trees. Green-coated, yes. 
just living up to my stereotype. Which starfighter would you rather pilot? A Jedi starfighter? A TIE fighter? A star destroyer? That's... I mean, it, that's not really a starfighter. That's a, that's a capital ship the size of a small city. An X-Wing? A Jedi starfighter Delta Seven? A Naboo N1? Or <laughs> I don't need to go anywhere picture of a Tauntaun. <laughs> I mean, this is purely biased talking because I played like all the Rogue Squadron games and some of the X-Wing and TIE Fighter games back in the day. The Rogue Squadron games were awesome. But I'm going to pick X-Wing. This is purely an emotional connection, and this is absolutely the one I had as a kid showing, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with the other spaceships too. That's just me giving into nostalgia for this question. How do you deal with confrontation? It depends on my mood. I walk away. I do what they want. I can't completely trust myself. I come up with a logical solution, or I pity the person who dares confront me. <clears throat> I do a lot of avoiding and walking away from confrontation, but I'm trying to... Well, I'm working on it, but for now, that's my answer. I'll see him go that's fine. Yeah. Don't remind me. I might have to stop uh, somewhere here. This is a long quiz to uh, go grab our uh, dessert. Which force power would you use the most often? Speed, breath control, center of being. What's that? Force push, flash burn, concealment, lightning, healing, choking, mind tricks, detoxification, or force ghost? Wait, isn't that a thing you can only do once because you die? I don't even know what some of these are. I definitely don't know what a lot of them are, but I just pick based on vibe. Yeah, fair enough. actually. The morally complicated one. The trick of the Star Wars universe. Pick a mode of transport, not a starfighter, I assume. ATST, speeder bike, pod racer, land speeder, tauntaun, or ATAT, -AT, or at at, if you prefer. Uh, I always wanted one of those speeder bikes as a kid. I don't know that. Why do you use a lightsaber? To protect to destroy, to serve, or for peace? Oh, to protect, definitely. Who shot first? <laughs> Han shot first. Is this a question? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I freely admit I am from the like Han shot first generation, but I but also, like, seriously, it's better filmmaking if Han shoots first, in my opinion. <laughs> You can't just, you know, paper over the anti-hero being the anti-hero. Exactly. Sorry, I know it's not my turn, but... No, no, please. By all means. I don't want this to just be me talking for 35 questions. Are you currently in school? Oh, I'll always be in school. I like that answer. One should never stop learning. Yes. Graduation is not ceasing to learn. What would you do at the Mice Eisley Canteen? Buy drinks, of course. Start a fight. Lay low and hope nothing goes wrong. Or stop a fight. Hmm. Honestly, probably lay low and hope nothing goes wrong, but that'll probably involve buying drinks to stay conspicuous. And I do want to try whatever they have on tap. Pick a quote. This party's over. Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. Never tell me the odds. It's a trap! Sorry, I can do a better impersonation of that. It's a trap! Much better. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Do or do not, there is no try. Facing all that you fear will free you from yourself. Okay, look, a lot of these quotes I have nostalgia for, or they've been very important to me at other times in my life, but that last quote, which I don't even remember where that's from in Star Wars, that's a good fucking quote. Uh-huh. I'm picking that last one. <laughs> what 
is your fighting form? She Cho, the bread and butter. Makashi, graceful and calculated. Soresu, defensive and fast. Ataru, offensive and acrobatic. Shen and Jemso, counter strikes and balance. Niman, unique and unpredictable. Or Juyo Aka Vapad, Vapad, aggressive and forceful. That would be dessert and drinks around. Okay. Diet Coke. Um, I'm going to think about this because I've never thought about this. Weirdly enough, this is a corner Star Wars murder I never got into. While I'm picking that up, if you don't mind. Okay. You're in... Enjoy. I mean, I pick it up, but A, I'm in the tub, and B, I'm obviously naked, which means nobody needs me answering the door right now. I'll be back. I'll just leave that there for you to talk to the stream over. Okay. This dessert should be interesting. There's uh, a little place where we are that basically specializes in doing nothing but uh, small desserts in like canning jars. So I'm assuming they're canning jars? It doesn't make a lot of sense otherwise. So they just have a bunch of different flavors of things that they layer in jars. I'm curious to see how this goes. It might be garbage if it's just about the gimmick, but if they do it right, it's actually a pretty clever idea. I feel like they should have some kind of buyback program if you order enough of them. Let's return the jars. Obviously that doesn't work with delivery service. they will or will not allow delivery drivers to come up to our room or not. Originally they told us it was just like late night stuff where we would have to go down and get it, which I assume is what he's doing right now, but earlier it was well within the time when they should have been able to come up and they still wouldn't let him, so who knows. I'm also loving the like low, slow lo-fi chill music with siren in the background. <laughs> it was definitely a vibe here. seen very, very little actual Star Wars. It's just, again, like I said earlier, it's not that I dislike it that much, I just, I don't know, I was not, when I was a kid I was very, very firmly in the camp of like fantasy only stuff. I was not into sci-fi at all. So I kind of missed the boat for a lot of years. My first real uh, getting serious about sci-fi came when uh, anime got big in the US and I watched Gundam Wing for the first time. So, I have tried to get into it since a couple times. Um, Star Wars The Old Republic, obviously I have been talking about streaming. I still need to get it sorted out to where I can, but I just been so lazy it's awkward to navigate all the like settings and stuff I need to for that, but that was the closest I've been to being an actual Star Wars fan. Having my own character and getting to kind of weave myself into the universe worked way better for me than any of the movies or anything ever has. So. There's going to be a lot of ass pulling when I take this quiz, but that's fine. As with most movie things, I just, um, I have a really bad track record with watching stuff. I usually prefer to be playing and stuff. I was supposed to start watching the first uh, season of Supernatural on the way up here, but it turns out, like, I don't use Netflix for much. I picked up a Netflix account because for a little bit our uh, FF14 FC was watching movies together. 
So I got it for that, and I didn't know that you have to apparently extend your license for stuff you've downloaded previously. So I downloaded those things the last time we went on vacation, and I was all ready when I got on the plane to just pop that open and start watching, and yeah, I did not have access to either of them. So that was kind of a drag, I guess I'll have to do it on the way back. Uh, I have since fixed it. Everything should be fine now. I was not going to pay for, you know, $10 for a couple hours worth of internet on the plane just to fix that. I'm kind of torn. Getting to fly again was fun, but uh, definitely, I don't know. I had a lot of trouble uh, getting comfortable, which was interesting because this was basically a, I don't know, slightly less than four hour flight, all things considered. And I realized, like, um, I don't want to say too much here, but uh, there is every possibility that I might be taking a very, very, very long flight later in the summer and or fall. So this was kind of our attempt to see whether or not I can uh, stand being on a plane that long. And like, I lived, everything was fine, but I definitely got restless, which historically has not been a thing for me on planes. So I guess we're gonna have to see how that goes. Definitely. Hello. Hello, welcome back. Holy shit. Okay. That's a big box. Yes! <laughs> the front desk staff was very curious about this box too. I see why. It looks like there ought to be an entire cake in there. Mm -hmm. It's enormous. I was trying to explain to them that it's um. It's a bunch of jars. Yeah, it's not that much, as much as this box looks like. <clears throat> for those of you, I don't know if I would explain this, but for those of you who've been on the Discord, uh, we need to re-download Raph's episodes of yes, Supernatural. Yeah. Okay, you can do this. Earlier. Okay. Maybe, maybe some uh, cheesy TV will help you get through the flight. Quite probably. <laughs> If that doesn't, I mean, obviously, that one's going to be a much longer flight, so there will be sleeping time involved. Oh, you mean going overseas? Uh-huh. Yeah. I will talk more about that assuming it actually happens. I have every faith it will, but it's one of those um, kind of bucket list things where I'm scared to talk too much about it in case it doesn't work out. <laughs> I will be crushed, and so will a lot of other people, so... Better to talk about it closer to time. Understood. I'm sure it'll happen. Okay. One way or another, we'll be there. Absolutely. It could happen. If I have anything to say about it, I will be there. Do everything we can to prepare for it. So, I was just thinking about you surviving the trip home. Yeah. Having those episodes yeah. help. Hopefully. Well, should we continue with the quiz, or did oh, you want absolutely. to see this dessert first? Uh, can I see it from here? sleeves that are in yeah. until they're ready to eat. Probably want to put it out front though because it's going to be like hot and windy in here. Yup. No wilted desserts on my watch. I'm going to adjust the calories and damn well better be good. I'll hydrate with this diet coke. 
I'm not afraid of putting that in the bathtub. You can stop waiting for it, I'm not gonna drop it in the tub either. One of these days I have every faith that will happen, but... It will happen? That I will inevitably drop a uh, can of like Diet Coke or something and drink it in the tub. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. We do have more Diet Coke if you run out. Perfect. Alright. Where were you? Uh, Star Wars fighting forms. I'm gonna go with Counter Strikes and Balance. That sounds right. Okay. I really like Tai Chi class, so. Which would you prefer to have a pet? A, pet? a Rancor? A Sarlacc? A Wampa? A Diadoga? Or an Exagorth? Those are all, um, I don't know that I want any of those as a pet. I guess, I don't know, uh, I always thought the Exegorth was cool because the idea of like a creature that lives in the vacuum of space, so I'm gonna go with that. If you were not a force user, would you be a moisture farmer, a stormtrooper, a smuggler, a spy, a pod racer, a bounty hunter, or a diplomat? Couple of good options there. Yeah. How are you doing, by the way? Enjoying your soak? Absolutely. Want to splash a little for the people? Here. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's nice and warm, but it's tough to tea well. It does. I mean, everyone wants to pick something cool like Bounty Hunter or Smuggler. I don't know. Spy. I'm gonna go with Spy. Okay. I think I'd make a terrible Spy, but I'm gonna pick that. What would you do if a civilian were being mugged on the streets of Coruscant? Kill the muggers, save the civilian. Use my knowledge of the Force to save the civilian. Nothing because this isn't my problem. Yeah, it depends. Or use why I was taught to save the civilian with minimal bloodshed. Um, I mean, I'm very much the, like, use knowledge to try to help kind of thing, so I'm gonna go with that one. Okay. Be like, I know enough about something to, like, de-escalate this situation without it having to get violent sounds like a, my kind of fancy. These fantasy. are not the droids you're looking for. Yeah. You've already uh, mugged this person. They have <laughs> nothing left to give you. They ran away screaming. Their pockets are empty. Yeah, their pockets are empty. Your pockets are full. You don't need They're... to mug anyone else today. <clears throat> I don't know. That could fuck with the life of the mugger, too. Yeah. But <clears throat> this is why that kind of power is very dangerous. Uh, so pick the temperament you have. I want to be mad. <laughs> I'm short-tempered. Can be. I have some temper. I'm better than I used to be. I'm pretty chill unless it's something important to me. I'm well-tempered, or I don't get mad, period. I'm better than I used to be. I'm glad that's an option. That fits. Yeah. What's most important? Intentions? Logic? Doing the job? Emotions? One's own well-being? People? Or fun? I feel like that's a list <laughs> that started asking one kind of question and ended asking a different kind of question, you right. know? <clears throat> a lot of it depends on how you take some of those answers, too. Yeah. Like, I feel like having good intentions, sorry, the bag is making a noise. Is it's not it, like fizzing, is it? Nope, but I just realized these aren't refrigerated. I'm gonna go fridge them for you, I guess. This is just another excuse for you to answer questions, isn't it? I see how this is working. Sort of nearly be a good opportunity.
You have five Diet Cokes, one refrigerated, three hot. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Ask drink all that before we leave. Or, uh, check out is like noon tomorrow. Okay. You could drink some on the way to the airport before we go through security. <laughs> this is true. Check out if you got them. Yep. All right, so intentions are important, but like if in the question of like are intentions more important than results, I mean, I, I, they're not nothing, but like having good intentions doesn't excuse doing something shitty, you know? Yes. Um, logic is important, but I'm not sure it's more important than the intentions put into the logic. Doing the job is important, but like emphasizing doing the job too much can lead to some really toxic like behavior depending on how you interpret that. <sighs> emotions are important, but you know, you can't be ruled by your emotions, same as you can't be ruled by logic. Your own well-being it really does come out how you interpret some of these, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with people for now, but I don't think I could answer any of these without an asterisk, you know? Fair. What would you do if your speeder bike broke down, walk to the nearest town, try to fix it, steal another one, get mad, or ask for help? <laughs> uh, try to fix it, definitely. What would you do if you were being pursued by a bounty hunter? Hire another bounty hunter to be out the first bounty hunter. Get ready for a fight. Figure out why there was a bounty on your head on the first place or kill them and everyone else involved. Yikes. Uh, the third one. Why was there a bounty on my head in the first place? Which sports position would you want to play? What, we've suddenly gone back to the real world. Baseball? Uh, flank or rear? Uh, <coughs> never mind. Well, if you flank the rear, right? <coughs> Baseball pitcher, hockey forward, soccer goalie, wrestler, lacrosse midfielder, Football, quarterback, or basketball point guard? Now, I don't know all these sports, so I don't even know the implications for some of these. I know. The ones I do know, though, these are like, I, I, I'm not sure what the question is here, because a lot of these feel like they're all basically, like, the most important, or like, most lauded, or most, like, you know, fame-earning position on the team in a lot of cases. like. So it's weird. Then, then the question is like, well, okay, what's the difference between wanting to be the, the like most prestigious football guy versus the most prestigious basketball guy or whatever? Unless I've misunderstood, because goodness knows I don't again don't know some or all of these, a lot of these. I always liked the idea of being a pitcher as a kid, though. I suck at being a pitcher, but I always wanted to be as a pitcher as a kid. Plus, baseball is one of the few ones where I know that there's a guy who's even more like heaped with fame and fortune in the picture, so I know it's not equivalent to the others. Yeah. How many and what kind of lightsaber or sabers would you wield? One, one monobladed lightsaber. Two, monobladed lightsabers. One, double-bladed lightsaber, or I will figure out how to wield two double-bladed <laughs> lightsabers. I love that. It's not the one I gave, but I love that answer. <laughs> it's there. Tough call. Um, Tell me when you can build three double-bladed lightsabers. Whoa. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone do that. General Grievous wielded a lot of one-bladed lightsabers that one time, but... Um, I don't know. I, 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 maybe my brain's just stuck in the past because I'm doing Star Wars stuff, but I used to always be a, like... Bo staff kind of person. Donatello. Donatello. Killick. Yeah. I was such a Killick main when we played uh, Soul Calibur. I was like, what? <clears throat> yeah, well, you liked looking at him. You didn't like me abusing that one ability. No. It's bullshit. It's still bullshit. Uh, also, I feel like there's something to be said for, like, Killick's temperament and my temperament, and I should have learned a lesson from him, but mm -hmm. that's another conversation. Who is your sidekick? Wicket W. Warwick, Salacious B. Crumb, C3PO, Chewbacca, BB8, Bib Fortuna, Jar Jar Binks, or R2D2? Uh, R2D2, no question. R2D2 is fantastic. I mean, I feel like splitting him into C3PO up is like uh, asking someone to pick between their children, but R2D2, no question. One sidekick allowed. I. Yep. 
They're functionally one sidekick. I liked R2-D2 before I liked Star Wars. Like, I, I don't know why, but I had an R2-D2 toy from a very young age, despite never having been exposed to Star Wars otherwise. I freaking love that guy. Love him. And finally, who's your favorite character? Right in. Um... Who is my favorite Star Wars character? There's no way I'm going to come up with a definitive answer for this. I've forgotten more than I ever knew about Star Wars. Um... The thing they get the blue milk from. That. <laughs> You've received green, and then there's a picture of Yoda. What? Okay. You actually got green. <laughs> I got green. I'm shocked. An avid student of the Force, you focus most of your energy towards the development of your connection with the Force. You're among the most respected of Jedi and work hard to stay uncorrupted by the Force's power. You choose to battle the dark side at its heart. You're known as a Jedi Consular. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, it was my job in the, the it, Old Republic. I was going to say, you were the Consular, not me. I played Mr. Goody Two Shoes. So was... Mr. Goody Two Shoes constantly picking fights with everybody, but okay. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I played the Goody Two Shoes job. How's that? He was, um, yeah. Never mind, we've gotten into our feelings about the storytelling decisions in that game before. No comment. Would you like to retake the quiz? I, oh, I guess I should say, I'm obviously, I'm happy to get green. Um, I. The description is accurate, though I'm not fully happy with the ways in which it's accurate. How's that? Okay, that's but, fair enough. I'm not unhappy. I like most of it, so I'll take that. Would you like to take the quiz? Yeah, it should go much faster since I more or less remember yes. things, so. And it is not doxing you, by the way. Okay, great. Even better. What is your favorite color? Red. Purple's an option. Still red? Still red. Click the word that describes your most common mental state. Conflicted, normal, I don't know, curious, mad, determined, or relieved? It's my name, right? <laughs> Determined. What is your main motivation? Knowledge. I don't know. Finding myself. Power. Making the world a better place. Responsibility or helping others. Making the world a better place. What kind of job interests you the most? CEO? Philanthropist? Student? Soldier? Monk? I don't know. Or running a family business? This is one of the ones I don't remember how I answered because I still struggle with coming up with an answer. I don't really love any of those. Mm, yeah, I get that. I think I'm gonna go with student for largely the same reason you did. I feel like- Fair. I don't know. Just having that mentality, even if I don't intend to attend like specific schooling, is yeah. what I want for my life, so. I get that. How would you describe your life at home? It's complicated, I don't know, good, improving, or bad? Alright. It's not improving? I, I thought things were on an upward project. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. Rebellion or Empire? Rebellion, always. I'm not a fan of Empire. So, do we really even have to ask or explain? If you've watched this channel, you knew what Raph was going to say. <laughs> if there was nothing to rebel against, you would find something to rebel against mm -hmm. anyway, I think. Rebel against myself, that's how it works. <clears throat> of the first six Star Wars films, I can list them if you need a reminder. Which is your favorite, or do you not have a favorite? Is I don't have a favorite an option? Yes. Okay, well, I don't have a favorite because I've only ever watched, like, two of them. Wow, two of them? I didn't realize it was that <clears> few. <throat> I've seen bits and pieces of a lot of them, but usually it was a matter of, like, oh, this is on in the room I entered as a kid. Well, time to go find something else to do. Well. So. Okay, which sequel or spinoff is your favorite? Is there also a no? There's also an I don't have okay, one. Okay, I don't have one. You don't want me to list them, huh? I don't know, I've never okay. watched them. I guess that's true. You weren't along any of the times I saw the sequel movies or the spinoff movies. Or most of the work or, Yeah. Which is the following of the following thing? Force users is your favorite. Yoda, Darth Maul, Mace Windu, Asajj Ventress, Sasa Katano, Obi-Wan Kenobi, or Darth Vader? I feel like if I got to know Asuka Tano better, I would probably love the hell out of her, but as it stands, Obi-Wan is awesome. Yup. Agreed. Best old dude. Yup. 100%. Oh, 
Also best like middle-aged dude. Yep. <laughs> and decent younger dude. And Qui-Gon was on the list, I might have considered it, because I know I know mm. I know this is unpopular opinion hour, but I liked Qui-Gon. Gone too soon, huh? Yep. Very much. Plus, they never used him as a forced ghost, did they? Like, he never got to come back and be all like, Obi-Wan, you are missing something important or something. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they did and I just wasn't there for it. But. That's a good point. Have not seen episode three, so what would I know? See, this is my problem. Every time they start to do something I like, they end up ruining it. Mm -hmm. See, previous comment about Amidala. Again, again, unpopular opinion, but I'm giving it. Mm hmm. Which would have made, if you actually did, had like gotten to know Asuka when she was like new, would have made life such a roller coaster. Because I think they keep like fridging her and then revealing she wasn't really dead or oh, something. God. So they would have like kept jerking you around. I have no patience for that shit. <clears throat> you have one try. If you insist on bringing someone back, I will try to tolerate it. If you continue jerking me around after that, fuck you. Take it with a grain of salt. I haven't seen any of it, but that's the way I understand it. And yeah, um, death should not be a revolving door. It usually cheapens the story when you reach mm -hmm. that point. Light side or dark side? As much as I pretend to be evil a lot of times, I'm a light side boy. Yeah. You just, you just really like to dabble, you know? Mm -hmm. And I realized that, you know, the... Traditional uh, cosmology of Star Wars doesn't allow for dabbling, but exactly. fuck that. That's a really stupid and restrictive like mm -hmm. faith system. But I pro uh, I'm not going to get into a rant about the uh, how the Force is constructed in Star Wars. Moral compass. I don't have a moral compass. I do what's best for me. My priorities are inconsistent, but normally I decide to do what's right. I do what society expects of me, I do what's right in the end. As long as I'm okay, I help others to the best of my ability, or I often help others even to my own expense. Sadly, it's gonna be that latter. Mm -hmm. I'm also working on it, but yeah, that's how it is for the time being. You're doing good. You're Thank improving. You. Now my hand is wet. <laughs> you, can't, you couldn't hear it, but we fist bumped. How far are you willing to go for your lightsaber? I'll do what is required. I would risk death for a lightsaber. It depends. I don't know, I, I rent one or something? I'm prepared to suffer. I think I can take it. Or I'll do whatever I want to do and still get a lightsaber. I'm prepared to suffer. I think I can take it. Ooh, okay. I really wasn't sure if you were going to go with I do what I want to do and still get a lightsaber because you just don't like um, people prescribing uh, belief systems on you. I mean, I don't, but... <laughs> I feel like if you were going to get something that powerful and that, like, personalized to you, you're going to suffer for it. That's just part of the deal. Reasonable. Reasonable. You are surrounded by a tribe of Tuscan raiders. What do you do? Try to communicate with them? Fight your way out? Kill them? All of them? Attempt to trick them, accept death for you have struggled enough, gain their favor, or do whatever comes to me in the moment. Talk first, always. If it doesn't work, then we can move to, you know, lightsaber battles, but... Where would you prefer to be? Endor, Tatooine, Bespin, Dagobah, Hoth, the Death Star, or Naboo? Uh, I don't want on most of those. I don't want to be on anything freaking freezing. I don't want to be on anything that's a freaking desert. Okay, so that's no Hoth, no Tatooine. Yep. Bespin is, of course, a floating city in the sky on a, over a planet with no ground. That sounds fun. Dagobah is a swamp. Okay, that sounds pretty shitty. Endor is a huge, like, redwood forest. Okay. The Death Star is... Death Star is a space yep. station. Yep. And Naboo is, like, the only one that has multiple climates and biomes yeah. and things like Earth. I want to say that's what I picked last time. I guess I'll pick that. Okay. Fair enough. Which starfighter would you rather pilot? A Jedi starfighter, a TIE fighter, an X-Wing, a Star Destroyer, a Jedi starfighter Delta Seven, a Naboo N1, or I don't need to go anywhere. As basic as it is, the like basic Jedi starfighter is pretty cool. Oh, cool. I almost want the TIE fighter, but... Those are two very different choices. They are. <laughs> Just in terms of implications and like... <laughs> 
functionality. How do you deal with confrontation? I walk away, come up with a logical solution. I pity the person who confronts me. I do what they want because I can't completely trust myself or it depends on my mood. It really depends on my mood. That's fair. And depends on the situation, largely. Like, yeah. how serious is the argument, etc., etc. <laughs> I feel like there's other options besides those yeah, two that yeah. they're not including. There's some things I will go to the mat and die for. There are plenty of other things where I'll just be like, yeah, I don't really care. Someone else pick. Fair. Which force power would you use the most often? Force choke, flash burn, force lightning, force concealment, mind tricks, force speed, force breath control, force healing, force ghost, force detoxification, force push, or center of being? Ghost. <laughs> you want to die and come back as a ghost? Hey, that means you died for something, right? Guess so. Actually don't know how it works, but I, let's assume so. Pick a method of transport. Tauntaun, ATAT, ATST, pod racer, land speeder, or speeder bike. All right, it's basic as fuck, but I want a pod racer. I mean, fair, those things are cool. Let's go. <laughs> Why do you use a lightsaber? To destroy, to protect, for peace, or to serve? To serve. Who shot first? On um, next question. <laughs> Are you currently in school? No way, never, for now, or I'll always be in school. I'll always be in school. For the same reasons you are. What would you do at the Mos Eisley Cantina? Stop a fight? Lay low and hope nothing goes wrong? Buy drinks or start a fight? Buy drinks, definitely. Pick a quote. Never tell me the odds. Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. It's a trap! Part this party's over. Do or do not. There is no try. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Facing all that you fear will free you from yourself. That last one, 500%. Same. Up until that showed up, I was going to go with Never Tell Me the Odds, but... Yeah, that sounds like you. Hang on, I want to know. Will... Facing all that you fear. That's it. What makes this? Uh, I want to, since the knows where this quote's from, I want to see where it's from. Okay. Huh? Well, season 6, episode 13 of The Clone Wars. Oh, wow. Never heard, never, not one I saw. What is your fighting form? Well, come on. Uh, you're gonna have to run those by me again. Oh, you don't have them memorized? No. Nope. All like dozen or whatever? Shicho, the bread and butter. Makashi, graceful and calculated. Soresu, defensive and fast. Ataru, offensive and acrobatic. Shien and Jem So, counter strikes and balance. Nima, unique and unpredictable. Or Juyo Aka Vapid, aggressive and forceful. For a Ataru, offensive and acrobatic? Yep. That figures. It's definitely the red mage <laughs> exactly. one. Exactly. That or almost the, uh, what was the graceful and collected one? Yeah. Eh. Which of these would you like as a pet? The Exogorth, which I will remind you is the giant worm that tries to eat the Millennium Falcon. Okay. A Wampa, that's like snow guys. A Sarlacc, the giant pit of tentacles and teeth that digests you for a thousand years. <laughs> A Dianoga, a one-eyed tentacle trash monster, or Jabba's Rancor, a, like, you know, giant monster kaiju thing. Uh, I guess I'll go with a Wampa. I don't know. That's, that's a terrible series of questions. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure I want any of these as a pet. Okay, Wampa it is. Maybe you can get him, like, declawed or something. Maybe. And... That's why I went now. If you're not a force user, would you be a pod racer, a stormtrooper, a rebel spy, a diplomat, a bounty hunter, a moisture farmer, or a smuggler? Pod racer. 500%. Man, I realize you wanted to be a pod racer. Whoops. Pod racer is so hard. <laughs> I remember playing that, like, video game version of the pod racer mm -hmm. thing for a while in the arcades. That was way too fun. <laughs> I was hideous at it, but it was so much fun. <laughs> what would you do if a civilian was being mugged on the streets of Coruscant? 
Nothing, it isn't my problem. Kill the muggers, save the civilian. Use my knowledge of the force to save the civilian. It depends on the situation, or use what I was taught to save the civilian with minimal bloodshed. That last one. Pick your temperament. I want to be mad. I'm short-tempered. I have some temper. I'm better than I used to be. I'm pretty chill unless it's something important to me. I'm well-tempered or I don't get mad. Pretty chill unless it's something important to me. What is the most important? Emotion? Doing the job? People? Fun? Logic? Intentions? Or one's own well-being? Alright, so at least the logic here for me when I pick people is going to be because I think people kind of trumps all of that. Yeah. I think taking people into account can like explain when those other things are good or bad or ugly. So, people. Get that. It, it's, it's what dif- separates taking the others too far from taking them appropriately. Exactly. What would you do if your speeder bike broke down? Ask for help. Get mad, try to fix it, walk to the nearest town, or steal a new one. <laughs> Probably get mad and then go ask for help, but I guess that means get mad. Okay. That sounds right. What would you do if you were being pursued by a bounty hunter? Get ready for a fight? Hire another bounty hunter to pursue the first bounty hunter? Find out why there's a bounty on your head in the first place, or kill them and everyone else involved? Find out why there's a bounty on my head this time. <clears throat> Maybe I can work my way out of it if I know what they're mad about this time. <laughs> Which sports position would you like to play? Hockey forward, baseball point guard, baseball pitcher, wrestler, lacrosse midfielder, football quarterback, or soccer goalie? Uh, I'm picking the point guard because that's literally the only one I know what the hell that is. Okay. For the most part. How many and which kinds of lightsabers would you wield? One, monobladed lightsaber. Two, monobladed lightsabers. One, double-bladed lightsaber. Or, I fuck it, I would somehow find a way to wield two double-bladed lightsabers. <laughs> I'm a classic, to be perfectly honest. One mono. Really? Yep. I really thought you were going to dual wield. I'm surprised. Despite my love for that kind of thing, obviously I'm playing Viper right now, but... Nah. It just feels... good. It's very classic. Nice. I'm not arguing. Pick a sidekick. R2-D2, Jar Jar Binks, Salacious B. Crumb, C-3PO, Wicket W. Warwick, Bib Fortuna, BB-8, and Chewbacca. I don't know who a lot of those are, but I'm going to go with C-3PO. Okay. Oh, cool. There we go. I got R2-D2. You've got C-3PO. We've at least got the pair, you know, basically together. Yeah, That's yeah. usually how it goes in the movies, too. Technically, different people own each of them. They're just frequently together anyway. Exactly. And the last question, who is your favorite Star Wars character? Padme Amidala, bite me. Thank you. I hope that came through. <clears throat> Better. I said it directly into the microphone. You basically ate the microphone. <laughs> Congratulations if you heard that. You've not been inside my mouth. Just kidding. Oh, bye. Acceptable? I forget if there's any accents or anything. Uh, yes. If there are, I don't care. I'm not enough to fix it, so... <laughs> Your result, blue. Nice picture of Obi-Wan. Yep. You got this before? That's what it was before. You seek justice, training mostly in the realm of combat. You have a strong desire to fight against the world's evils. You protect those around you and won't stop fighting until you're dead or there's no one left to fight. You are known as the Jedi Guardian. It's extremely basic, but I'll take it. I get why you're um, happier with the description than the color. Uh Uh-huh. Like, that does sound like me, but can I have a different color? Well, it's gotta be blue. I mean, to me, this just speaks to the, um, the, like, ridiculousness of, like, the color ties in Star Wars, yes. how arbitrary they are. I would pick purple or red if I could, but red is always the other side. Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a significance to purple. I used to think there was, but I don't think there actually is. Uh, one time it was Mace Windu and no one else is allowed to have this color. Yeah. I almost picked him earlier because I know he's notable for having the purple lightsaber. Mm-hmm. I want to say that was even like in his contract at one point that like he, he was the only guy who got a purple lightsaber or something. I forget, there was a couple of interesting stipulations in his contract, but I don't remember them all now. I want to say there was also a stipulation that he couldn't be like killed on screen or something. 
I might be wrong about that. But again, not not like super Star Warsy person here anymore. Anyway, the most common answer: almost half of people get blue. Wow. Okay. And a quarter of people get green, followed by red, okay. followed by white. I don't even know who white would be. Looks I'm like. I'm surprised there aren't more reds. I yeah. Would be like, so if people were going to pick the obvious Sith answers and then just everybody get red. But. Yeah, really. Is there certainly enough uh, people who want to be Sith, huh? Yep. White looks like it's Asuka. Okay. Black. I don't even have a black lightsaber. How does that even work? Four it's black light. It lights up everything that's white. <laughs> Of course, I'm mis- uh, misinterpreting what we're seeing here. Anyway, uh, white is about 10%, well, it's a 9%. Black is 6, yellow is 4, and just barely less than yellow is purple. Wow, okay. The rarest answer by far. Okay. I don't know what you have to do on the quiz to get it. I don't know. I'll have to play around with the quiz and find out. Oops. I accidentally screenshot of the screen. Okay. Well, that took a long time. That uh, was that it's was very in depth. Mm-hmm. Would you prefer to do the other one you picked, or would you like to do one of the ones that I picked? It's a surprise one. Okay. Let's see what you came up with. Okay, I came up with a bunch, but you did kind of suggest earlier that um, I was probably going to make you do something embarrassing or lewd. Okay. And uh, this is the most embarrassing one I could find quickly on the currently trending page. Smash or past my worst hear me out, hear me outs. Okay. This might get a little weird. Great, this is gonna be fantastic, all right. I don't even know what the results of this are going to be, but it should drive an interesting discussion. Enter your name. (sighs) Question one of 13. First, you know we gotta start with my boy Cools. So, the Kool-Aid man, smash or pass. Pass. You're not. You would not sm- uh, smash the Kool Aid Man. No. Okay. I suppose I should show you these pictures to be sure. Okay. Duddy from FGTV. Or FGTV. Uh, just based on aesthetic, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and say smash with the understanding that I feel like most answers on here are going to be absolutely god awful. Sure. So I am picking the best out of what I assume is going to be a disaster. I don't know anything about this person. A fair disclaimer. This is supposed to be the ones you would have to tell your friends. Hang on, hang on, wait, let me explain. Nope. Darn it. Pam from Stardew Valley. Uh, once again, I have not played Stardew Valley more than, like, 20 minutes. Um... I, I think... Is she... Is she the alcoholic? I can't remember. I don't know. That face does not spark joy. I think I've got a pass. Fair enough. She doesn't look like she's exactly having fun with life, huh? Exactly. Oscar from Duolingo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, does he have to be in that pose? No, that's just a sample. Um, I, since you use Duolingo, you're probably more familiar with his other poses than I am. I, he's normally just a normal looking dude. Um, you know what? Sure. Alright, fair Smash. enough. Smash. Done. Any explanation you want to give on that? Or? Not really. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not going to make you... I, sh- I should also mention, I assumed this one unsaid, but if you're uncomfortable with any of these questions of at any time, you can stop. It is not a strong opinion, let's put it that way. The Milkman, a.k.a. Francis Moses. Not the one I keep talking about from Psychonauts, some other Uh, Milkman. I don't know who this is. I I feel like I've seen this person before, but I'm not sure where. Could just be in a meme or something that I didn't realize what I was dealing with at the time. You know what? He seems interesting. Let's go. Yeah. Fair enough. Venom. Pass. There's so many people. I mean, that tongue certainly suggests a lot, but I'm still passing. No, actually, I was gonna be. There's so many people who ship him with the guy wearing him because oh, Venom okay. is the suit. There's a guy under there. I see. Deadpool. Smash. 
The sense of humor alone. I was gonna say, you like a guy with a sense of humor? I'd probably end up punching him eventually because he do doesn't shut up and everything is fun, but yep. for a while it would be pretty good. Plus he's, uh, uh, he knows that he's in like a fictional medium, which would probably like, I don't know if that would get, uh, make it weird in the bedroom or not. Probably. Depends on whether he can shut up during the act. Also, fair warning, his uh, skin is, he's, he's kind of, he's got like a burn victim thing going on under the suit, so. Timmy's mom from the Fairly Odd Parents. What the fuck? And no, I don't know where they got a picture of Timmy's mom in. I'm assuming that's a bathing suit, not her underwear. Sure, smash. All right. Did not see that one coming. Brick from Total Drama. Uh, sure, smash. Really? Why not? It's at least humanoid. <laughs> That's, that's, that's your bar at this point. It's humanoid. All right. Miss Doombringer. Oh, smash. I don't know what's up with that, but I like it. I don't know who she is or what she's from, but... Jorgen von Strangel. <laughs> uh, let's pass on that one. I would not be able to stop laughing. <laughs> to be fair, he is, the, he is the villain from a children's comedy show. Glam Rock Freddy Freddy bleh, Glam Rock Freddy Fazbear. No pass. Not Freddy Fazbear sexual. Noted. Well, I guess it, you know shouldn't assume. Maybe it's just you don't like Glam Rock. Okay, drop your most diabolical. Okay, wait, hear me out. Ah. Uh, person. Excuse me. Um. I guess, essentially, your most like problematic crush. Yeah, I understood what it was. I was just trying to think oh. of what it would be. That's fine, take your time. I need some time to figure out what I would say for this. Uh, yeah, you're taking this thing too. Yep. I know what I signed up for when I offered you this. I kind of really go in for most of the like really crack stuff. At least when I have to pick fictional characters I'm into, it's usually like fairly normal. Yeah, you're not into like, you're not Emmett fucker, so we can't go with that or Xenos or any of those. I mean, some people would say Graha is fucked too, but you know. I don't think you need to hear me out. Fucking Graha Tia, one of the most popular and thirsted after characters in Final Fantasy XIV. If you were a Bakul Jaja -Ja stan, I know there's a lot of those, but I still want an explanation for why there's so many people thirsty for that. Those bastards? There's a lot that I can say, but I will not because it's probably constituting Dawn's Trail spoilers. Oh, god damn it. I need, I need to catch up on the story so you stop having this problem. And for that matter, you need to do side quests, because you don't realize that. Mm, never mind. I'm trying to think, was there anyone, like, weirdly inappropriate that you're... Because you played that Sith girl you really liked in the Old Republic. Was there anyone, like, really inappropriate that she was into? No, both of those were pretty humanoid, too. Okay. Wait, One was just fun since I got to absolutely corrupt the shit out of a Jedi, which was worth every fucking second. I was so excited. <laughs> The other one was someone that I knew absolutely was going to betray me in the end, and I'm pretty sure he did, but... Yeah, I don't think you ever actually got to that point, but he does eventually betray you. And then there's like an actual, like, do you reconcile with him kind of thing, yeah. too. Fair, fair point. For all that they screwed up that particular storyline, I hear that those particular characters' romances were okay. very popular and had some interesting options. That Jedi was the girl with the put the shock collar back on option, mm -hmm. right? With the one where you like, where she's like, okay, but put the shock collar back on. <clears throat> Not quite as good as that one moment in Color X Malice, but I might play that on stream sometimes, so I'll shut up. Mm oh, God. <sighs> okay, Color X, uh, it's a good question. Any Otome games? Ooh, wait, wait! You do have a Hear Me Out because. Audiful? Audiful? Ooh, okay. Anyone That's where I was aiming because I don't know anything else. Hotiful also, I think anyone in Hotiful Boyfriend automatically has to be a hear me out. No, I was going to say your favorite character from Amnesia Memories, because a lot of people don't understand him and really hate him. Uh, yeah, but I have to admit to that, and I do not want the drama. Eh, fair. Like, I can go for hours if you get me started on why I don't think that should be as problematic as it is, but... We do not have time for that. Yes. Tonight or ever. Fair enough. Sorry, I didn't mean to out you. 
It's a hot boyfriend. Also, for the record, it is not Toma. Yeah. Before anybody thinks that, because it is not Toma, I do not want any part of that. No, 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 no. And in fact, the fact that so many people are okay with Toma as a character is part of what's wrong with people not being okay with the rest of the game. But yes. Yeah. Fuck Toma. And no, don't fuck storyline. Toma. That's exactly what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> so hot of a boyfriend. Nagaki. Dumb. Nagaki. Okay, yeah. Complicated. Yep, yeah, okay. Nagaki. Nope, yep. Nagaki's great because he's a uh, wait wait hear me out if you don't know what's going on with Nagaki and he's a different wait wait don't hear, hear me out uh -huh. if you do know what's going on with Nagaki. There's several layers of awkward there. <laughs> yep, good it's call. The per it's strictly about the personality. It is not about the bird. Of course, it's there's right. I forgot. I forgot about the fact that he's a bird and some people would be weirded out by that. <laughs> I was just thinking about the teacher student romance angle. Wait, that's not Nagaki. Oh, is that not Nagaki? Am I confused? Which one's Nagaki? Nagaki's then? library bird. Oh my god, how did I get those names mixed up? Okay. Oh god, Nagaki. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's more than I actually expected. Fucking Nagaki. Sorry, I, I was getting <laughs> Nagaki confused with your homeroom teacher. Speaking of trauma. Yeah. My comment still stands, though, that Nagaki's two different kinds of what the fuck, depending yeah, on whether you yeah. know what his deal is. Which, honestly, that goes for everyone in that game. See, I'm having trouble thinking of the other guy's name now, but... That's probably the way he wants it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Nagaki. Your result. Your taste is marvelous. And by that, I mean deranged. Get help. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I like it. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't need help. I'm exactly where I want to be. Thank you. <laughs> now I have to play this game. <laughs> Question one. Like, I probably just said I would be willing to smash something completely awful, and it's probably gonna haunt me forever because I have no idea who these people are. But yeah, so be it. It's fine. You've disclaimed it by the fact that like you don't know who these people are. <clears throat> Same thing goes for me. I don't know who most of these people are. I mean, I know who the Kool-Aid man is. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Here's the thing. Even if you're into that body type or, like, large, like, tall people or whatever attracts people to the Kool-Aid man, he just seems like he's kind of selfish and, like, a bit too vapid for me. Like, I don't like his personality. Can you imagine just looking at that grin constantly while you're doing the deed? <laughs> That's what does it for me. It's like, no. God. Absolutely not. <clears throat> 213. W from FGT Eve. Um... See, the fact that I don't know why this guy is on this list is bothering me. Like, is... mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure the same reaction you had. anything else I assume you have to go based on pure aesthetic yeah. and physical attractiveness. Yeah, he's 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 got a lot of good qualities, but he's just it's just not connecting for me for some reason. Like he's yeah. got all this stuff that normally I would be like, yeah, that's good, but it's just not working for me on him for some reason. Like the glasses are great. Pam from Stardew Valley. Not really, not really my cup of tea, sorry. <laughs> Oscar from Duolingo. <laughs> I mean, you gotta appreciate the riz that he's showing here. I mean, it, it is certainly a pose. <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Oscar from Duolingo. Smash. Okay. The Milkman, aka Francis Moses. I wish I knew where this was from. It's similar to the other one. I feel mm -hmm. like this is, uh, he, he's just got such a nothing burger expression that it's like, okay, the challenge of wiping that nothing burger smirk, like nothing off his face. Oh, interesting. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Who else were you comparing that to? The Kool-Aid man. The Kool-Aid. Who's going to just wear that fucking grin regardless <laughs> of what you do in the bed. I see, I see. So with the Kool-Aid man, because he's never going to get rid of that grin, you wouldn't, you would pass on him. But yeah. for this guy, that would be the challenge. Yeah. I see. I don't know, he's fine. He strikes me, I don't know, 
I can't tell if there's something more to this guy than what he appears to be, which is like terminally burnt out, or if that's the point, that he's just this terminally burnt out nothing burger of a man. Like sunken eyes giving Oz, but... Yeah, I don't know what that's about. Oh, gut feeling is smash. I couldn't put a finger on why. Venom. Ah, uh, smash. Okay. Deadpool. Uh, Wait, I get an explanation on that? <laughs> We're just going right by that? Okay. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> it seems like it'd be a fun experiment. It's a lot of things you can't try otherwise. Okay. Um, <laughs> great, now I can't, <laughs> now I can't think straight. Um, <laughs> Deadpool. I'm sorry to see how we got Dre Beards involved. <laughs> God damn it, shit. <laughs> that was just a typo. <laughs> <I> was... <laughs> how does, how do you draw a line? <laughs> Between the amorphous shapeshifter and old men, exactly. Uh, give me a minute, I need a red string board. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm real torn on Deadpool. Um, maybe because I've seen way too many good and bad things done with Deadpool. I don't know, he's a fun guy, but I don't know that I want to fuck him. I, 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 I'd have a drink with Deadpool, I don't think I'd want to sleep with Deadpool. And... Yeah, pass. Timmy's mom. I don't know why. She is, there's a lot of, Timmy's mom is like the opposite of that guy, the second guy. The guy where I was like, he has a lot of individual components that I'm normally attracted to, but they're just not working for me on him. She's the opposite. She has a bunch of components I'm normally not attracted to, but for some reason it still works for me. And I don't know why. Weird. Like I do not, like the 50s housewife vibe. Mm -hmm. That's why you gotta liberate the fuck out of her. Yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly it. Timmy's mom is someone that needs to be broken out of her situation. <clears throat> I mean, unless she's happy there, in which case, you know, everyone's got their own right to be whoever they want to be. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I should, but I mean, again, this is smash or pass. This is inherently yes. kind of selfish. So I guess I'm saying, I mean, only, that's the only situation under which I would consider fucking Timmy's mom. The sentence has gotten very weird. <laughs> but to be fair, I feel like that's also the case because otherwise she's married and has a kid and this um, wouldn't be yes. a situation that would occur. Brick from Total Drama, no. No, sorry. The Miss Doombringer. Like you, I don't know who this is, but I'm putting, like, I'm... I'm loving whatever she's putting down. That is a vibe. That's an awesome vibe. She's probably either someone horrible or has some kind of context I don't know mm. about, but but on surface visuals alone, I'm going with... Sorry, just checking. Make sure no one's chatting. Uh, that's probably the most enthusiastic smash on this quiz so far. Okay. Uh, Jorgen von Strangle, absolutely not. Where do you even begin? <laughs> uh, I'd rather not begin anywhere. <laughs> Fair. French has pair glam rock. No, absolutely not. I don't understand the the Freddy sexuals, and that's I shouldn't say that. Like, it's not like I don't understand furries. It's just Freddy Fazbear in particular. The people who are weird, like super attracted to the characters from that game. I don't mean anything. Hmm. Sorry, you look like you're trying to look at the picture. Yeah, I was just looking at those eyes. Yeah. <laughs> It's especially weird because this is like the cleaned up, supposed to be positive version of a character who was originally designed to be a creepy, like, mem uh, broken down version of a vaguely creepy thing from the childhood of people who grew up in the 90s. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. Like as a kid I loved the hell out of those animatronics and now they're exactly as terrifying as that would suggest, so. Hmm, an interesting point. So, in other words, Freddy Fazbear is the One Direction of the 2020s? Maybe. I'm moving on before I say anything okay. else dumb. Um, 
furries are great and awesome, and I mean nothing against them, though. I just want to be absolutely clear. Drop your most diabolical hear me out. I've been trying to think about this because I know I have like one old fictional crush that was that was like really a you have to explain this and I'm trying to remember who it was now. Oh come on. I'm not leaving this until I think of an actual good answer. Okay. I wish I had a more interesting Yeah, Nagaki's not, I mean, assuming you're talking to someone who's already bought into the conceit yeah, yeah, of yeah, probable yeah. boyfriend, Nagaki's not that screwed up of an answer. I'm not weird enough to get a word on this. her age at the time, yes. so like, I was a little teeny kid. That's not tiny weird. Kid. I had that too. You had a crush on Penny from Inspector Gadget? Yes. Awesome. I didn't really necessarily know what that was, but hell yes. I mean, fair, she's fantastic. Mm. Like a lot of guys my age, are like, yeah. I had a crush on Gadget from Rescue Rangers. I was gonna say that is yeah. also not weird at all. Same. I'm not a guy, but... Ooh. I don't feel like... Hmm. I might get shut, shut down for this, but... I don't know if this is exact... Here's the thing. There's some people for whom this isn't to hear me out at all, and there's some people who I've learned are really, really feel that this is problematic. But, like... I exclusively dated Futaba in Persona 5. Uh. The one time I played it. And that's really problematic for some people. Like, I can get into my reasons. I don't know if that really counts as a hear me out, though. No. Yes, I don't think so. That's the also, thing. Also, I dislike all of the reasons people usually give for why they're uncomfortable with it, but okay. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you just don't like her, that's one thing. I got no problem with that. Oh, yeah, but fine. That's if you're trying to say right. it's problematic, I disagree. Yeah. I find it fascinating the number of times I've heard someone call out, like, this is the one relationship that I find problematic in this game. And it's not always that one, but it's just always interesting to me when people are like, this one only. I'm like, that one, but not this other one, huh? Okay. Usually it's the teacher, the doctor. I was gonna say, so you're not gonna complain about the teacher or the doctor? Well, but... that's the thing, is like, when someone's like, not the teacher, but the doctor's okay, or not the doctor, but the teacher's okay, I'm like, huh? Maybe just mind your own business, how about that? Or yes, the people who are like, not Futaba, but the teacher and the doctor are okay. Usually it's one of those three. <clears throat> Way off topic. Um, also, just in all honesty, I, I, I went into Persona 5 trying not to date Futaba because I know I have a bit of a type and I was trying to buck trend, but... Goddamn, Futaba reminded me of a lot of stuff from when Raph and I were dating and I was like... Fuck it. I can't not pick this. Even now, she and I have a lot of similarities. <laughs> it's definitely not perfect. She's at a different no. stage of development than I am, certainly, but... No. She was even then. I mean, it was because she reminded me of who you used to be. Uh-huh. She's cute. I got no problems with her. <laughs> I was like, well, fuck. I can't, like, not pick the idealized, ver like, fantasy version of dating my spouse. So. I'm still pissed you can't pick use case, so whatever. Also valid! <clears throat> Come on, Persona. You guys have are like a really, really good series that's frequently about like, you know, fighting back against like larger organizations and marginalized characters, but you keep not actually doing justice by the actual marginalized people in your stories. <sighs> Let Maybe people someday. date uh, dudes. I'm still convinced by the theory that Persona 4 was supposed to have a gay root and then had it removed mm -hmm. at the last second, but that's another story. Like, everything I've seen about that deleted root suggests that mm -hmm. it was there, they just couldn't 
bring themselves to do it for whatever reason. Yeah, exactly. It's so frustrating. And it makes sense too for the characters, isn't the thing? Mm-hmm. It, it like as soon as someone said it, I was like, "Oh shit, that makes sense." Anyway, um, hear me out. I'm still trying to think of a really like fucked up character I've had a crush on. I mean, at the moment, it sounds like apparently I should uh, just say Venom because <laughs> I got a reaction. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, it's not like, would that ever have entered your brain outside of having been prompted? No. Okay. There are other shape shifting creatures I would have picked before Venom. Okay. <laughs> okay, like, for example, I still can't decide whether Nimona, the titular character of Nimona, is like romantic goals or life goals, for example. Fair. Okay. Nimona's fucking awesome. Jesus. So I'm still like dang sense if I played what Usually my shit. Any weird hentai that I've played? One like. You're not red enough yet, please continue. Say what? You're not red enough yet, please continue. (laughs) Doesn't help that I'm leaving over your hot tub. Oh, it's not hot anymore, I'm dying in here, but. Oh, do you want to warm it up while I keep thinking? No, it's okay. Okay. Should probably get out at some point because we've got this area that's getting late. Yeah, it is. I still want to give you a turn in this thing. True. You still need a chance to use the jets at some point. Yeah. This might be your last quiz then, huh? I don't want to, but maybe we can do a longer quest for you and some back or something. Yeah, I found some good ones, though this was definitely the one I didn't want to miss. Okay. <clears throat> you asked to be embarrassed, and now here I am, stuck embarrassing myself. Like, there's gotta have been like one like the Kool-Aid Man, where it's like a, how, why is that turning me on, that's not even human kind of thing. What, what's a good example? Character. Yeah, okay. What if I picked, um, uh, um, actually, that's not that bad of a choice. Um, God. What if I picked the, the father from, from, uh, Fates? That would be disgusting. Uh, I wish I had some questions, yeah. <laughs> stuck on that. Like, it could be, like, a character in a book or movie. Yeah. Oh! That's a weird one. I don't think it's a hear me out, though. I'm pretty sure I've seen AO3 fix about that. I was, like, weirdly, like, had a bit of a crush on Boning Myrtle <laughs> when I was younger. Uh, okay. You know, the ghost in the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably a lot of people would be into that. Yeah. Well, and she's just... She's the kind of um, mischievous girl that I appreciate. As soon as we end the stream, if I don't think of something, I'm going to be like, oh, I should have said. Yep. (sighs) 
Now I'm literally just like running my brain through like games I've played and shows I've watched trying to think of anything. Oh. What was her name? I don't really like her that much. is me realizing that I need to re-examine some things. Okay. Because, <laughs> like, I was, um... The idea of being attracted to someone of the same gender did not occur to me until I was... Well, until I knew... Until, you know, you knew me probably at the time. <laughs> like, even past the point where, like, I understood that this was a thing that some people were... It wasn't something I ever considered to ask myself. Like, I was pretty exclusively thought of relationships as straight. And I'm just here, like, trying to reevaluate something from my childhood and being like, wait, was that a th what, what was that in the context of, like, the rest of my growing up? I don't want to lend it more credence than it's due. Sounds complicated. Mm, it was a character I really liked from a from a TV show. That, like, at the time I would have told you it was an oh yeah I want to be like this guy kind mm -hmm. of thing, and I'm just questioning that now. That's all. Uh, the classic. Do you want to be like Ben? Or do you want to fuck something? Yeah, exactly. Got it. I was young enough at that point that it was easy to... The default was to categorize, well, if they're a female character, I want to fuck them. If they're a male character, I want to be them. And that's yeah. not a thing I need to question. And this is the first time I've ever gone back and reevaluated that one and gone like, wait, which one was that, really? That's how it starts for most people, I think. Yeah. Oh, believe me. I've asked myself that question so damn many times. We'll start talking about Persona 5 again if I go <clears> down that road, though. saying that I'm reevaluating why I liked him so much. Um, Depth Charge from Transformers Beast Wars. Yeah. I think his name was Depth Charge. I'm pretty sure. Doesn't sound like a beast. He was a manta ray. Okay. It's another reason I liked him. its ups and downs but it was doing like story that like didn't return to the status quo after every episode and like evolved at a time when most children's cartoons weren't so I 
All right. My result is your taste is trash. Wow. And normal. Good job. <laughs> well, that explains why I had so much trouble with the last question. Touchy punch. For the record, 69% nice. of uh, quest of quiz takers get your taste is trash. 30% get your taste is marvelous like you. Okay. I guess I'm... And then they insult me about it, so what the hell? Well, they did say that theirs were supposed to be all... Uh, this was their list of, like, characters that they, uh... Their... Please explain... You know, wait, wait, let me explain. Yeah. All right, I guess that's gonna do us, huh? Uh, alas, I suppose so. Sorry, we only got through two quizzes, but uh. That uh, lightsaber one was a monster. It was. And we got some late start. Yeah, we did. We got a late start, and we can't stay up forever because we gotta bail from here and go fly home tomorrow. It's. We I mean, could just sleep on the plane. We very well might sleep on the plane. We might. I frequently do. Uh -huh. But I'd like to have a relaxing evening, so yeah. this will just have to be... It's actually only a two-hour stream, believe it or not. Yeah, okay. It felt longer, but... For the record, your other one was Welcome to the Masquerade in the Deep Woods. Okay. My others were a fairly standard-looking What Greek God or Goddess Are You? Okay. Uh, why Would You Go to Jail? Mm. And What Are Your Hands Covered In? Well, that one was fun. I actually took that off. Oh, you, you took this, except I psychoanalyze yes. your issues with love? That was fun. Well, I see we have similar tastes then. <laughs> yeah. I just picked that because it was on the popular list. <laughs> but uh, anything else to, to say to the fine folks at home? I suppose not. Uh, we will probably be back tomorrow. Um, I would not expect a stream tomorrow because we'll be traveling for most of the day, but... Yeah. Um, I will probably be back, hopefully, on Sunday. Okay. If we're still, like, super tired or something, it might be Monday, but I will try. Okay. I'll try to be there for game day also. I'm still tentative for the time being, but... Just in case something goes wrong with yeah. travel, or we get sick, or we're just too tired. Exactly. I'm opening a new one. What kind of chair are you? Oh, that one's fun. Electric. <laughs>to get louder. Did it get louder on stream? That's weird. Well, that's going to do it, folks. Um, you've gotten to hear us get very philosophical and... Uh, Smash and past some weird shit. Yeah, get, embarrass the hell out of ourselves. That's not that embarrassing. <clears throat> Keep trying. I figured it wouldn't be that bad for you, but for me, it was um, pushing a lot of boundaries. Congratulations. Uh, I'm going to look up who those people are and cry later, but... Oh, we should. We absolutely okay. should. Um, I might... How do I stop this? Not this screen. This screen. So long, everybody. See you next time. Good night. Good luck. Have fun. We'll splash one more time. Sure. Ah! <laughs> you get the phone. <laughs>